Hi, so this is Derek Ong with uh, video number four. Um, my preceding video showed you how to uh, talk about Smart PLS and the difference with uh, CBSEM. And now this video is going to show you how to model your um, data, uh, your file, um, sorry, your, your model that you have built. Okay, so as you can see, I've already imported the uh, uh, data in and uh, everything looks fine because if something is wrong with your file or you have a missing data, uh, this little thing here will not turn green. So, so always check that you have dealt with the missing data and you can watch my video number two to understand how to deal with missing data. Okay, so I'm going to start modeling um, this little thing here. Okay, this is my model. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me just go in. So this is the technological adoption model, which I have technological readiness, uh, top management support, cost, uh, competitive pressure, technological adoption, and financial performance. So I'm going to show you how to do with this. So this is your canvas to model. Just hold down your sh uh, latent variable because we want to deal with the latent variables first. Uh, hold down your control uh, key. Uh, since we have four indicator variables, so all you need to do is just press one, two, three, four with the two dependent variables, five and six. Uh, then what you need to do is make sure you click back on select, uh, rename, right click and rename your latent variable. I'm trying to remember what it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me a sec. Technological readiness. Yeah, that's the one. Technological readiness. Technological readiness. Yeah, easy. Then the next one will be uh, top management support. Top management support. Um, and the uh, this one will be cost. Competitive pressure, which is the fourth one. I just move it up a little bit so it looks nice. I actually can align them, but you know, I'm just too tough, lazy to align them. Um, competitive support. And then you have the um, uh, technological, what do you call it? trying to figure out what this is. Technological adoption and financial performance. Okay. Technological uh, adoption and the financial performance. Financial performance. Okay. Right. So once you've uh, labeled the um, uh, latent variables. Now you can all very easily uh, just do a drag and drop of the uh, indicator variables. Yeah. Uh, sorry to say to uh, Amos uh, users, I've tried using Amos and uh, you notice there's no red lorry here, just a little bit of Amos joke. But anyway, so technological readiness, it's under TR. So I've got one, two, and three. So I'm just going to hold down my shift key. Sorry, I'm going to hold down my control key. Control, TR1, hold down the control key. Press on TR3. Uh, shift key, sorry. And I'm going to drag and drop here. All right, just let me show you with the, the other one again. Technological support. So TMS1, hold down my shift key. DMS5 and uh, oh, 
look at it it's so easy and then I'm going to do the cost which is cost here and then drag and drop compared to support compared to support which is CP one two five here and uh, finally I have my Court technological adoption, which is one to three, drop here, uh, as well as my financial performance, one to five, one to five, right there. Now I can also switch, you notice that the indicator variables, I can right click switch the indicators to the right just to make it look nice uh, for my technical adoption I can put it to the bottom and there we go now you notice that the ellipses are now in red color right so which means there are no connectors between the ellipses so you have to put in the connectors between the ellipses and how you do that is use the connector once again hold down your uh, shift key okay and connect one, connect two, connect three, connect four, and connect five. And when they all turn blue, means you've got it all right. Okay, easy, isn't it? So this is how you um, do your. Uh, model in smart PLS. Pretty simple, right? Uh, and make sure you save your project, okay? And save as. All right, that's all for now. And I will talk to you about how to do the smart PLS uh, modeling uh, algorithm later on. Thank you.